They say art is a way of life, but for one artist and his exhibition, it's the story of other people's lives. The Between the Lines exhibition at the Senate has captured powerful quotes and sketches from ordinary people in local communities, as well as nationally and internationally renowned figures. The incredible collection is all the work of Glyn Pooley, an artist from Barry who started the collection back in 2011. He's taken his art across Europe but still remembers where it all began. Well, it started in a, a cafe in Barry um, as a way of make, making connections with people I saw every day um, but just passed, you know, and it, it, people would just say hello. But I thought, let's see if we can make a, you know, a more meaningful, deeper connection. And the way that we're going to have a go at doing that was to offer making an artwork together. So initially this was a bit of a shock to the people in the cafe, um, but they embraced it. While his work focuses on what inspires local people in life, it's also captured the attention of some pretty familiar faces, including the former Archbishop of Canterbury. As I said, people nominated someone um, and then, for example, it got to somebody like Jane Hutt and then Jane Hutt would nominate people um, and on their list maybe someone like Carwin and that's happened, the same process happened with, um, with Rowan. Uh, somebody I drew knew Rowan, thought of him as an inspiration and said, suggested Rowan and contacted Rowan and he said that he'd like to be part of it. So that meant for me going from Barry then to a, a trip up in to Cambridge. One of his biggest supporters has come from the political stage. Jane Hutt, whose constituency covers Barry, has played her own part in the exhibition and says she's incredibly proud of Glyn's achievement. Glyn has had to work very hard to get support and sponsorship um, and, and also the people who've engaged with it, who've, who've actually shared very personal views and feelings, um, you know, they're now all on display. So we've got our current First Minister, Carwin Jones, uh, with his portrait, his statement, and the former First Minister, Rodri Morgan. We've got Professor Laura McAllister, who was, you know, key in terms of the sp our sports world, but also a great academic and political commentator, but also back to the local, the very local, and our other artists. And I'm, I'm very proud of Glyn and what he's achieved, sometimes against all the odds. But what we need to do now is say, can we take this forward? Can Between the Lines be something which grows? 65 already have taken part, and we want a lot more to come forward. The exhibition has been on display for three weeks now, and in that time has caught the attention of many people. The collection will only be open for the next week, though, as Glynn looks to expand his incredible artwork. Daniel Wilson at the Senate for Cardiff News.